Hey guys, it's Ariel, and I wanted to talk to you guys today about the number one question that I get from you, which is, what guitar do I play? So this is my favorite guitar in the whole world, two-tone. And I call it that because it has two tone knobs, which I did when I was building it, which leads me to the story of how this guitar was created. So back in about 2008, I was inspired to do this by a friend who built guitars while I was going to the Sky Academy, which is an Uli John Roth camp that he puts together. He's an amazing guitar player, if you guys don't know who he is. But I was inspired initially by Brian May, who built his famous Red Special when he was 16 with his dad. And I'm like, I want a custom guitar. So I had four or five guitars that I had. I had a Manhattan Midnight Les Paul. So I'm like, all right, I want the ebony fretboard of that and the blue color, even though it's just kind of halfway blue. I had, I still have it, a um, BC Rich Warlock, which is kind of a snake skin. It has a really long scale length neck. So I said, okay. So what I did was I pushed all the hardware back. And so it's a really long scale length neck, which I like. The reverse headstock it also had, so I kept the reverse headstock of that, so the low E is super long with the uh, Steinberger tuners, which are amazing to keep in tune. And I had a Brian May Red Special, so I was inspired to have the pickups and the pickup selectors. So each one of these turns off and on the pickups, and this puts it in and out of phase. So. I've been working with Seymour Duncan for the past five or six years, and we created my own pickups, and they have um, crystals on them. And then I had a uh, I had a Fender Jagmaster, so it's a Jazzmaster and a Jaguar together, and that inspired me to have the Fender tremolo on it and the bridge system, which is lifted over halfway. So like Jeff Beck, it's, it's just a tad off so I can lift up really high and it makes it very sensitive to, to flicks and things like that. I put the triangle on it because I, uh, I felt like it balanced all of it. These two are my favorite colors and have been for a long time, blue and orange. The wood was found, I, th I think really inexpensively, either in a dumpster, it's Karina, it's very light. Um, and then it's a neck through, so it's all one solid piece that goes through the middle, right here. And then uh, we attach the two wings on the side. I have a, oh my gosh, what's his name? Uh, a silencer here. So this pickguard here on the side acts as an extra pickup. And oh, Elitch, Elitch Electronics, he creates these noise canceling fake pickups, so if you have a fender or anything that's super loud, it will cancel the noise. Um, and I have my three springs. I have a bronze uh, piece here that is has sacred geometry on it, was actually prayed over. And then I, I typed in, um, I typed in universe, or I actually etched it in when I was having a bad day. Um, right here, it's in Sanskrit. And then here I have this extra sustainer, which is a really bad idea, and sometimes I still get mad that I have a hole in it. It reminds me that even the imperfections create something even more beautiful than I initially thought. And from those holes, I actually put a Herkimer um, diamond inside the guitar. So even funnier story is the guy who built this with me, uh, his name is Patrick Yates. Now he, he was a good friend of mine. He lived in Azusa, California. So we were working a lot online, creating the design. It's like an Explorer Firebird cross, but smaller because every guitar looks like a boat on me. And um, so we were talking back and forth and it was in person and then I was living in the Bay Area at the time. He was living in Los Angeles, working. He was gonna send me over the stuff and all of a sudden he told me that he wouldn't be able to work on it anymore and he disappeared. And I'm like, well, where'd he go? I was sending him emails, they would get come right back to me, his phone was turned off, everything kind of happened like that, he disappeared. 
And I'm like, well, what happened with the guitar? I mean, we worked hard on this for about six or seven months. It was every day working on the shape over and over again. It, um, painting it, we were mixing the paint. Um, so three months later, I get a huge package in the mail. Um, I, it was during the time I was, I was living in London. And I get a package in the mail, and it's the guitar in pieces. Uh, all the hardware was kind of everywhere, and I had to put it together again. But he disappeared after that point. So, um, Patrick, if you're out there, I'd love to talk to you. But in the meantime, I have always thought of him as a kind of like a guardian angel that came and, and gave me the greatest gift. The best thing that's ever happened to me in my life was this guitar. Um, I have a hard time playing other ones. And, uh, you know, I just, I, it's my favorite thing, my most prized possession. It's the reason why I play guitar. I played guitar before, but it inspires me every time. I pick it up, I play uh, nine gauge strings, Dava picks, and um, everything's kind of customized. So there's your answer to what guitar I play. This is two-tone, and keep a lookout because I will have aer aerial guitars. At some point there will be aerial guitars, and they will be recycled woods, Kind of everything that this is, but better. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.